Hey guys, it's Chloe and today we are talking about Rihanna's Fenty Beauty foundation. Now, it's actually been a week since I filmed this video, but um in my intro, you will see in like the the end of this video, um I did a wear test, but by the end of it, like I smudged all of my eyeliner here and I didn't realize and I just couldn't be all over my intro looking like that. So um yeah, it's a week later. I've been so ill this past week i've had the flu i've had pretty much everything so um yeah it's been a rough week which is why i'm only just getting around to refilming this but yeah today we are talking all about the fenty beauty foundation so of course she's now it comes in this box you've probably seen like a million reviews on this and like i loved everything that rihanna bought out i thought that the line looked amazing but none of it was for me and i didn't just want to jump on it because it was Rihanna, if you know what I mean, like I really respect her brand and I respect everything that she did and I really respect her for this foundation um, because of the shades that she brought out for it. But um, yeah, just nothing really appealed to me. The only highlight that would have been light enough for me was Moonstone and I heard that that's not so blinding. So I wasn't really interested. So I wasn't going to get anything from the line but I kept hearing over and over again how amazing this foundation is. So I thought that I'd try it out for myself. And in this video, you will see that I actually really struggled with this foundation. Um, the shade is amazing. Guys, I nearly cried when I seen the shade of this. It literally matches my neck. It's not what I'm wearing today, which is why my face is darker than the rest of me. Um, but yeah, it's not what I'm wearing today. But I have been wearing this all week. And what I've found with this, I just want to quickly say... Um, I really struggle with this with a sponge but whenever I use it with a brush I can't use a brush I don't know how anybody uses a brush for their foundation but I literally will take any like dense brush I will just take a few pumps of this which by the way guys I don't know if you will be able to tell because this foundation has been laid down but I've been using it for a week and I'm already down to here I've literally used like a quarter of the bottle because this foundation is so watery but most of that was from me trying with a sponge I don't know why it goes on like a lot more watery and sheer with the sponge but whenever you use a brush it applies the product really thick not not thick in like a bad way but a lot thicker than with the sponge and you don't use as much product and everything is just better that way but yeah I can't use a brush so I'll just take any dense brush literally rub this all over my face and then I will take a disposable sponge like I've been using like I explained in this video as well and um, I will just tap the foundation out and that is the best way that I've found to apply this. I think that it wears a lot longer. I think it looks a lot, lot nicer and that way I can literally do my foundation in 2 minutes rather than like 20 minutes. Because honestly with the sponge, I really do struggle with this foundation. But other than that guys, I'm just going to jump straight into the video and you just can see me applying it. And my I did do check-ins and my final thoughts on the foundation at the time. But as I said, things have changed and I did say in the video that I will let you know if I find a better way to apply it. Definitely recommend applying this with a brush. If you can work with a brush, then like Jesus, you are, you are talented, you are blessed. But if not, just take any dense brush. We all have millions in our collection that we don't use. So just take any dense brush, rub this all over your face and then just tap it out with a sponge. And it looks amazing, it wears amazing. But let's get into the video. So I'm gonna prime as normally and literally all I do is take an eye primer. I'm sorry about my voice, I think I'm getting ill. But um, yeah, I just take an eye primer. This one is by MUA. This is one that I typically use because it has like a dull flat applicator and shit and it's just easy. I've mentioned this in a couple of videos I think. Um, I feel as though like my beauty blender was breaking me out. I'm going through some breakout issues right now and I'm just trying to figure out what it is. So I've stopped using beauty blenders or just like sponges in general type of thing. I've just been getting these disposable ones. That way I use the sponge once and then it goes in the bin and it's not unhygienic for me. Because no matter how much I clean beauty blenders, I feel as though there's still a load of shit stuck up inside of them. I have a kitten in my room right now and it is making so much fucking noise. But I'm just quickly gonna spritz this with some setting spray just so that it is a little bit damp just on the end right here. And then I'm gonna... Can you stop? And then I'm just gonna pounce this in just on my nose area because this is this helps if you have oily skin and your foundation sloughs off during the day. This just helps 
to like really stick it on. This shit is like Velcro. Now I did squirt out a few pumps of this foundation and I used it to touch up because I was just in a rush and it was just the th first thing I grabbed so I know you have to shake it well and I know that this is watery but I have never applied this to my entire face so I don't know what this foundation is like um, but yeah I do know that this is watery I'm just going to do like three pumps for now because it's going to be dripping off my hand and then I'm going to dab it around my face guys the shade is so light I think this might genuinely be my skin tone from what I've seen of it me applying it over the top of a foundation that I had on that's not my skin tone because I can never find it I think that this one might be it but yeah um obviously this isn't the same size as a beauty blender so it takes a little bit more time but I don't mind um I'm having to go with another like three pumps I feel as though I'd go through this bottle so quick like I just feel as though I don't know if it's because it's so watery or what I feel so you have to use a lot. I'm sorry if you can hear all of my animals moving around. I honestly think that this shade might be my genuine shade. Guys, I've never ever been able to find my foundation shade. And I truly think that this might be it. Like, I'm shook right now. Guys, I'm having a, a hard time with this foundation. It's just like, it looks really, really nice on camera. And the shade, like this is my shade. I swear, this matches my neck. I probably have like a little bit of bronzer still left on my neck from yesterday because I don't wash my neck which I really should do guys honestly like this is my shade but I just I don't know it looks like it doesn't want to be on my skin kind of thing and like I tried to lay it up underneath my eyes because I don't have a concealer that's gonna go anywhere near this like not any any concealer that I have is darker than this shade because as I said I find it so hard to find my shade and everything I'm literally like white as paper so I'm just trying to like get as much full coverage underneath my eyes. I, luckily, I don't have bags or dark circles or anything like that. Well, I think I have a little bit of bags. But I don't have dark circles or anything crazy that I need to cover up under my eyes. So I don't technically need concealer. I just like to try and highlight. But yeah, so I'm trying to get some coverage under my eyes. And it's like the foundation doesn't want to layer. Like the more I'm pouncing it in, I can just see marks appearing where like the redness is coming back through. And yeah, I'm just having a hard time to get this like blended in and it dries pretty quick as well But that hasn't like really been a problem for me as I say, it's just like the more I go over it It's like it's pulling it back off and I've heard a few people say that so that I know that it's not just my super drug sponge Um, Yeah, I'm just it just doesn't really like to layer well And it's just hard to actually get it into your skin. I think it's because it's so watery and as soon as it goes onto the skin, the water is evaporating out, which is what makes this foundation so matte. Which, as you can see, this is pretty matte. Like, because I'm oily, I feel as though whenever I apply foundation, I look really, really greasy from, like, the start until I powder it. But, um, yeah, I feel as though this is drying down really, really nice. I'm just so obsessed with the shade, guys. I honestly can't believe that I found my shade. I don't think I told you the shade that I've got. I have the shade 100, the lighter shade. And it's my shade. But now I'm just like, I don't have a concealer that's going to go with this. I don't have a powder. I have a translucent powder, which I'm pretty sure it's genuinely translucent. I feel as though it is. We're going to hope. But I'm just shook and I just don't have anything else that I can put on my face that is now actually going to match me. But now, I swear I've been blending this foundation for, I'd say, about 10 minutes. And guys, that's a long time to be putting your foundation on. I don't know. It's like... The way that it looks like the finish of the foundation is beautiful other than where it's going like a little bit patchy and a little bit weird and the shade of course is beautiful so like it's kind of worth it but then again I don't know if I could use this as my everyday foundation when I'm in a rush going to work or whatever I don't have time to be blending my foundation in for 10 minutes and just really working with it. It's more around like the center of my face where it's happening. And it's around my nose and around my eyes where I have to keep going over areas anyway. They're a little bit harder to get in there because on the rest of my face it looks pretty much flawless. Yeah, there's no mar weird marks anywhere else other than just like the centre of my face. I don't really know what the crack is with this. So I'm now going to try setting this. I have my Beauty Bakery powder right here. I'm just going to dump it into this lid. Um, Yeah, this 
This is a translucent powder. I'm not really one for loose powders. I, I love my Rimmel Stay Matte, but it's called translucent, but it's not, it has a lot of yellow in it. So I feel as if I put it over this foundation, it's just gonna turn it really, really dark. So I'm gonna try and set it with this and just see what happens. Yeah, this one, this powder is, it has a little bit of yellow to it. So it is, it is changing it a bit. This is what I mean, like, Rihanna, you need to give us everything else. If you're gonna give us a foundation that for once in our life actually matches us, we need an entire line so we can wear it all together. No, I can't believe that it's changing it. Now it is a different, completely different glue to my neck and I'm gonna have to bronze. Okay, so I love the, the finish, like the initial finish of this foundation. I love the shade of this foundation. I feel as though it would wear all day long. I truly do, I can just tell already that this is going to be a really good matte foundation and very long wearing but it's so hard to work with to get it to actually apply to your skin like whenever oh god whenever you have to like it's creasing a lot around my eyes and on my eyelids and whenever i'm trying to like blend <coughs> i'm sorry about my voice guys whenever i'm trying to like blend out the creases it's just pulling the foundation off I think it's because it dries so quick. It's hard to like work the foundation into your skin. I can't get my concealer, my powder, everything done in like seconds with it, with the with the foundation being hard to work on in the first place. And I'm just devastated that this powder has changed the color of it. Now I just look like yellow, like a like a yellow ghost. So I'm not gonna bake. Typically, I bake my nose. Well, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends if I can be bothered. Um. But I feel as though if I bake, then the pigment of the, the powder is going to stay even stronger. And as I said, because it's not like fully translucent and it, and it has added this yellow hue to my face. Yeah, I just don't really want to bake. But also like that powder is, well, it's really dry. It's a really like dry, it's a super intense mattifying powder. As I said, it's the baking flower from Beauty Bakery. And on top of this foundation, it's looking very... My skin's looking dry and I don't have dry skin. However, underneath my eyes, gets can get like a little bit dry and I get a little bit of texture right here. And it's the same with my eyelids. I noticed on my eyelids straight away. Like, it didn't look like I was putting liquid on them. It looked like I was putting chalk on them. Whenever I was applying this foundation. And now that I've powdered them, it's even worse. So, if you have dry skin, I would avoid this foundation. But I'm super excited for this because I need to find an amazing matte foundation. I think this, I don't know, like, I'm just so conflicted with this foundation. Like, if it wears beautifully all day, although right now it is looking, like, a little bit dry and a little bit crazy. Like, if the dryness and the really intense powdery look settles down as my skin wears this foundation in, and then it starts to look amazing and it lasts all day, I probably, like, I will use the foundation and I will enjoy the foundation, but I, I don't think I can go through this every day. Like, honestly, it's taken me, like, 20 minutes just to get to this point. And all I've done is primer, foundation and powder. Like, I didn't conceal or anything. I don't know. I'm just... It's the way... It's the fact that the foundation is so light that I love about it. It's just the fact that it's actually my skin tone. And as I said, I've never, ever found that. But now I'm just really sad that I've powdered it and it's turned yellow. It's not the foundation that's turned yellow, though. Oh, yeah, I did hear a lot about it oxidising. So I'll have to keep an eye out for that. I didn't know it was oxidising at all when I was applying it. But um, yeah, it's the powder that's turned to this colour. But I'm going to finish the rest of my face. I'm going to try and put all my natural colours back in. Because right now I'm looking like canvas. And um, we'll see what happens. Guys, it has been almost nine hours. I've smudged my eyeliner. It has been almost nine hours since I applied this foundation and I am shook. I've literally not once touched up. I usually blot my hands. Oh, I'm getting a close up. I usually blot my face with my fingers as well and I haven't even done that. My forwards were most impressed and even on my nose. Now I am a little bit out of itch. My hair's crazy little guys. I'm all over the place, but I'm so shook by this foundation. It has come off around my nose because I've been picking at my nose and like, I have like a weird mark right there where it's come off, can you see? And then it has come off all the sides of my nose, but every foundation does that to me. I've also been picking up my cheeks right here. This is what I mean guys, like I need a foundation that can last through my bullshit, but my forehead does get really oily. 
and it has an all same with my nose my nose is really like shiny by now and honestly it looks amazing it's come off on my top lip too because i just tend to i have lipstick like right up here i just tend to like touch myself on like my nose and my mouth and i've been like eating and like using like a napkin and stuff i don't actually know like why it's come off that bad around there but everywhere else looks amazing I, as i said i've been picking at like i'm gonna spot some on my chin i'm gonna spot some on my forehead here like i i just i'm a picker i'm a face picker i'm an anxious picker i just touch my face all the time so this for nine hours this is amazing for me i love this foundation as i was saying earlier like it's i don't know why but it's it's so hard to like actually work into the skin i've never really used a foundation like it before it's literally completely different to anything i've ever used i don't know how they formulated this foundation just so amazingly i would completely 100 percent avoid this foundation if you have dry skin i think that it's too much it really is too much because my skin still looks a little dry as i was saying before like i thought that my oils were gonna come through you've seen i only primed my nose i didn't use any other oil stopper like all i had down was moisturizer and some eye primer on my nose which you know didn't really help <laughs> the nose area but as i said nothing does for me if you have oily skin then you already know with your nose that that shit ain't saying but my forehead isn't shiny at all i've stroked my forehead through here and above my eyebrow bones so there's like a little bit of shine right there but it just still looks so perfect I, just, I don't even know what to say right now guys honestly as i said i did have some issues working the foundation in it's just like it wanted to like kept pulling off here and there especially more like i'd say more my dry areas which is like under my eyes and my nose does actually get dry too my my top lip is the driest part of my skin and it's just like completely broken up around there i don't know if that's for me touching it or what i don't I don't want to get small lines, but I actually see it cracking right there on that line right there. My foundation is cracking, but this, this, this does look pretty dry, so I'd just avoid this if you have dry skin. Honestly, I love the shade of this foundation, but I even think for me, it might be a little bit too dry, and I never thought that I would say that. I, I've dealed with my oily skin for so long, so, so long. It's a nightmare every single day. Um, and this really, this really holds the oils back. I am, I'm not disappointed that it came off my nose because, as I said, everything does. I always expect it to. I have a really itchy nose. I always expect it to come off around my nose because it just happens. It always happens for me. I was hoping it was gonna stay on, but then I'm gonna hope that everything is gonna stay on my nose. But yeah, I just, I do feel as well like it's a little too dry. I literally just picked at that spot right there. Do you know like when you get the little bumps that irritate the life of me? So I have to just pick them off. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm shook. It's still on my face for the most part. I said over the nose, always happens on my nose. I'm just most impressed with my forehead because my forehead can get oily. Do you think it's weird that I don't get wrinkles on my forehead when I do this? Like you see a little through there. I don't know what's wrong with my forehead. I just don't get wrinkles. Like I'm not complaining, but I find it really weird. But no, yeah, I'm most impressed with my forehead because usually she is literally shine from here to here. It's in my eyebrows. It's everywhere. And everything. On that part of my face still looks perfectly my, my entire face still looks perfectly my, as i said even my nose i'm touching it right now and other than when my best skin is showing there is no oils guys this foundation is seriously amazing but i just do think that it's a little bit dry i'd probably just recommend putting down a really even if you are really oily putting down a moisture do you need help like i would put down a hydrating primer um but no yeah as of now Nine hours in, I'm so impressed that this has stayed on my face for so long. Um, if I ever found another, if I ever find another foundation light enough to mix it in with this um, foundation, then I definitely would just to give it a drop of hydration. Or you can just you can mix a little bit of moisturiser and just anything. Yeah, I'm I'm super impressed with this foundation, but I do think that it's just a touch touch too dry. It's it's too much. Like I don't know. I never thought I'm so torn. I never thought I would say it is too much. I'm sorry if I keep like dipping down. I'm so lazy, but um. Yeah, nine hours in and we are still going fucking strong, especially as I said, considering I pick up my face all day long because I can't help myself. I'm impressed with this foundation, guys. I am impressed with it. And the price, £26. I don't think that that is a bad price. I use drugstore. My favourite drugstore foundation is £8.99. It's L'Oreal Infallible 24 Wear. 
Um, so yeah, that's I'd run up to ten pounds, and this is sixteen pounds more for an absolute insane foundation at twenty six pound for a high end foundation. I don't think it's bad, and I would happily pay twenty six pound for this to be my everyday foundation. The only reason why I think it couldn't be my everyday foundation is because it takes a minute to get into your skin. But if I get used to playing with it and like find a quicker way to just smash it in there, this would definitely be my everyday foundation and I wouldn't be too bothered about putting a high-end foundation on my face every day because the price is more on the low side. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you just enjoyed the video. And yeah, bye.